A big thanks to Napoleon Grills for sponsoring this episode. Time to show the ladies some appreciation. You've been out all day, working hard, busting your butt, saving little kittens from trees, helping old ladies cross streets, driving the biggest engines in the world, stopping volcanoes, all the things men do. And then when you come home, you sit down on your couch, you get your loaves, you get your paper, maybe a little cup of coffee, while your wife cooks you a beautiful dinner because you've earned it, because she loves you. Now, we're going to turn the whole thing around. Forget what you know about traditional values. It's almost Valentine's Day, and it's time for you and me to turn the tables and do something for our wives. No more sitting around being lazy. It's time to win the hearts of our women. We know all women love baking, so this is going to involve a lot of things. You and me are actually going to bake. Don't run away. Don't be that guy. I know you want to do this for your missus. Just hang in there. We're going to make through it. It all starts with a kitchen machine. Now, I know you may not have seen this device, but it's the thing that your wife uses to make those delicious pies with to create a dough, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. This magical machine has been feeding you for years, trust it. Then, and you must know this, <laughs> we have minced meat. It's one of our favorite things. It's what meatballs are made of. And this, I am most definitely sure that you've never used this before, but let me just do a quick demonstration. There's this little thing here, and then you open it up, the bottom falls out. Look at that. They call it, I don't know what they call it in English. It's a, it's, a, it's a pie, pie thingy. It's a pie thingy. Women put their pies in here, and then they clamp it like this, and then they bake the pie in it. And then, at the end, they take off the outside, and they have the perfect, perfect birthday cake. Yes, I know, all this time you were just thinking like, ah, how did she do that, that perfect little pie? That's amazing. It's not amazing. You can do it too. Now let's just get started. First thing that we're gonna do is make a barbecue rub. I'm gonna start with one part salt, one part paprika powder, one part onion powder, and a quarter part garlic powder. Now normally I wouldn't put sugar in my barbecue rub, but this rub is going to go inside the meat. That's why I'm not worried about burning the sugar. The next step in the preparation is making a stuffing for our meatloaf. This device is gonna make your life very easy. All you have to do is put in one of these things, Click it together, turn it on. Then you're gonna add a whole carrot, a whole onion, a whole bell pepper, and two cloves of garlic. The next ingredient is two kilograms of minced meat, 50-50 pork beef. To that, I'm gonna add three quarts of my barbecue rub. Then add the veggie stuffing to the minced meat. Add five tablespoons of breadcrumbs, two raw eggs, and mix it up. And the last ingredient that we're gonna add is cheese. That's gonna make the whole thing creamy. In this case, I'm using mozzarella cheese that they use on pizzas, because that's what I had left. But you're better off using some fresh shredded young Dutch Gouda cheese. This white stuff is called baking paper. It's gonna make your life easy. Just drop it on, then put the top on, and you're set. Now we're gonna create our first base layer. Make sure you create a thick and sturdy base layer. I don't wanna see any cracks or holes. Then we're gonna work on the sides. It should be evenly thick as the bottom. Now I'm gonna cook some eggs. I'm gonna start with a slow boiling water and then add the eggs slowly to them. Set the timer to eight to nine minutes and then it's time to peel. Place the eggs in. Now I'm gonna sit the eggs straight up into the shape. I'm gonna fill the whole thing up with as many eggs as I can fit in it. Then I'm going to take the rest of the meat and stuff it in between the eggs and make a top layer out of it. Now it's ready to go on a Napoleon Kettle Pro Grill. I fired up the Napoleon Grill and I got both the outside burners on and set to high. I'm going to let the temperature come up to around 160 degrees Celsius. I'm going to slide in my beautiful meat pie. 
Wait, the wait, heartbreaker. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. We gotta save energy, Marsha. Think about the environment. In the meantime, I'm gonna make a barbecue sauce. Starting with a half a cup of ketchup, a quarter cup of honey, also add a quarter cup of red wine vinegar, and three tablespoons of our homemade barbecue rub. Now mix it up and the barbecue sauce is done. Just check the temperatures on our beautiful meat pie. The meat love. And as you can see, where the eggs were, it started to pop off. The cheese was melting. Look at how juicy that is, insane. The fat is starting to render out, so it's time to take this pie out of the barbecue. This thing looks absolutely amazing, and I'm getting so hungry. It's getting later in the day. It's been cooking for around an hour and a half now, and man, I just wanna eat it, but it's not time yet. It's not time to eat it yet. It looks amazing, but we gotta put the extra, extra love into it. Because we already make the delicious barbecue rub, a good stuffing, mix that in with the minced meat. Then we shaped it into a hard form to symbol our love. Put in the boiled eggs and topped it off with the rest of the minced meat. And then we cooked it for an hour and a half on the barbecue. Now, if that's not a sign of true love, putting in all of that hard labor, I don't know what is. But this is the moment I've been dreading. This is really scaring me, and I don't scare easily while cooking. But now is the time that I'm gonna take this out of the form. And normally, I would let a thing like this rest. So it, it just strengthens, and it, it has time to like hold on to itself. But now I can't, because I wanna put barbecue sauce on. So, I'm gonna open this up, and I already used a knife to go around the edges to make sure it's completely detached from my form. So let's take a look inside. Ooh. Careful now, careful now. Oh, <laughs> it worked, it totally worked. Insane, okay, okay, it's not absolutely perfect. It's not super smooth, but it's pretty close to perfect. I'm giving this an A plus. Not an A plus plus, because we got some like little thingies there, but now you can see why we still need to do some work. We got this brown stuff on the outside, like the stuff that didn't color up, the stuff like on top, you can see the beautiful color that we have, but on the outside, it's still a little gray meat. And gray meat is no bueno. My girl don't like that. So I gotta put this back on the barbecue, let it continue to cook, and in the meantime, we're gonna put some barbecue sauce on this. So there we go. Dump the barbecue sauce on. And just let it run. Look at that, it already looks better. Now all we need is for this to go back on the barbecue and then get sticky. So there we go, just slide it in. Let it continue to run at a temperature of 180 degrees Celsius. Now that looks amazing to me. I don't know who your girlfriend is or what she's like, but I bet you, you can make them happy. Like, it doesn't even have to be a girlfriend. If it's your Valentine, you, you can make them happy. You know, it could be anybody. Let's try this. Mm. Don't you just want them breakfast like this? It has smoke flavor, barbecue flavors from the sauce. You have the bell pepper in there. You have the mozzarella in there. You have the, you have the carrots in there. But it's even healthy. That is some good meatloaf. And remember, you can make this a day up front and serve this for breakfast, cold, warm, bake it up. You can do all kinds of cool stuff with it. 
I think the paprika and the carrot are a really surprising element to this. It makes it a real meatloaf. Like not just meat, but there's more to it. And then the barbecue sauce on top, just to finish everything off with the creamy cheese inside and the smoky flavor and stuff like that. So good. It's your first Valentine's Day with this person. And you make something like this. That person has to sleep over for the next week. But yeah, if you don't want that, don't do it. I definitely recommend eating it with a knife and fork and a plate. Yeah. That's not how we roll no, though. No. If women wouldn't be in the picture, men would just eat with their bare hands mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah. They wouldn't even yeah. bother getting plates. Mm. Why get plates if you have to do dishes afterwards? Uh, people ask me, why do you eat with your hands all the time? I'm not eating with my hands all the time, I'm just doing it here, out of the sight of my girlfriend. Next time I'm using Dutch cheese again. Yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry to all the Italians, but... I'm gonna make this right now, at home. So I'm gonna make place for a new video, right here. Yeah. So while he's gonna make this, I'm gonna eat the rest of this whole meatloaf pie. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you watch the next video. Or you want the recipe, go to our website, pitmasterx.com. And uh, yeah, in the meantime. It's smartly. And keep on grilling. Mmm, that's good, right? That's really good. You want another piece?